Mets play the middle game of their three game series against the Miami Marlins. The Marlins won last night. The Mets had just two runs and four hits and that continues a trend. The Mets have hit extremely well on the road. They've averaged five and a half runs per game away from City Field. Best in the majors at home less than three and a half runs per game. Second worst in the majors. The Mets will send David Peterson to the mound tonight. Peterson making his third start since coming back from hip surgery and he's pitched well so far. He certainly has his second start. He got his uh, the win. He pitched into the seventh inning. And the first pitch on the way to the right hand hitter, lined to second, caught knee high by McNeil. And there's one man out. So the first pitch of the game hit hard by Lopez, but right at Jeff McNeil. And De La Cruz flies one out to center. Bader got turned oh. the wrong way, but finds it, jumps and makes the catch right at the edge of the warning track. That was a bit of an adventure for Harrison, but quickly there are two out. Here's Josh Bell, switch hitter, batting right. And Peterson picks off the inside corner and strikes out Bell to finish off an efficient first inning nine pitches one two three for the Marlins it's Braxton Garrett his sixth start a loss against the Rays Wednesday night in Miami it was the first time the Marlins lost a game in which he had started since the beginning of last year Marlins 25 and 11 when he takes the ball Francisco Lindor has had great success against Garrett the 0 one to Lindor cracked in the air to straightaway center back goes Jazz Chisholm he leaps and misses the ball it sails over his glove to the wall at the 408 mark Lindor to second he stopped there with a double and that looks somewhat similar to the ball that gave Met center fielder Harrison Bader some problems with that came off the bat of Brian De La Cruz and the Mets have a runner in scoring position with nobody out. So here's Bader hitting second in the order for the first time this year. Bader 0 for his last seven and Bader whacks one deep left center field headed toward the wall. It's out of here. Harrison Bader a home in the two hole. His fourth home run of the year have an instant 2-0 lead. And Eric Chavez, one of the hitting coaches for the Mets, and he immediately went over to Carlos Mendoza and came kind of a, a hug slap like, good move, Skip. Good job putting Bader in that two-hole. So the Mets ambush Braxton Garrett, Lindor a double, and then Bader hits one out of sight. So Berger on first, it brings up Jazz. The one-two pitch is chopped towards shortstop. Lindor's on it, throws it to first, not in time. Jazz beats it out. That ball was cued out towards shortstop. Lindor circled behind the baseball. Jazz beats it out, back-to-back -back singles to open up the second inning for the Marlins. So now the Marlins with two on, nobody out, and Tim Anderson coming up. Here's a double play ball right to McNeil, the flip to Lindor, and back to first for the 4-6-3 double play on Anderson. So two out of Berger goes to third. It's going to take a two-out hit from Dane Myers. 0-2 pitch, that's a ground ball hit. Fair over the bag at first, rolling down the right field line. A two-out base knock for Dane Myers. He'll pull into second with a double. And it's 2-1 to one New York. That's a big two-out base knock for the Marlins. Dane Myers snaps an 0 for 13 at the plate. So now Emmanuel Rivera, the third baseman, will be next. He That's up the middle. Myers was on the move, so he will score easily. And back-to-back two-out hits for the Marlins. Tie this game up at two. Another hard hit ball for the Marlins. That one, 106.1 miles an hour off the bat. And how about the Marlins here with these little two-strike RBI hits? David Peterson was not thrilled after being handed a 2-0 lead. Gave it right back. Taylor at first. Here's Vientos, who's crushing lefties, hitting 385. Slowly hit on the left side, and it's booted by Rivera, and everybody's safe. Rivera was thinking about going to second base, might have taken his eye off the ball, and that cost him a play to get anybody. Well, the Marlins have made more errors than any team in the National League. So now Francisco Alvarez, his second game back from the injured list, 0 for 3 last night in his return. There goes Taylor stealing third, and it's grounded through the hole, a base in for Alvarez, and the Mets regain the lead. Taylor in to score. Alvarez with his first hit since coming off the injured list. And it produces a run, 3-2 to two New York. Well, each team has had a runner trying to steal third and had the hitter swing away and get a base hit driving the run. And that goes to the backstop, and that'll move the runners to second and third. Now they're a two in scoring position with nobody out. The 3-1 hit on the ground towards second, under the glove of Lopez, who tried to backhand it. It goes into right field. Viento scores from third. Alvarez stops at third. And on at first with an absolute gift is Jeff McNeil and boy the Marlins look miserable defensively here and the Mets now have a four to two lead.
And getting no support. So now Alvarez at third, McNeil at first, still nobody out. Two runs home in the inning. Soft chopper hit towards third. Rivera's on and he comes home to the plate and they got the out at the plate. Alvarez was breaking on contact. That's a really nice play by Emmanuel Rivera to cut down Francisco Alvarez at the plate for the first out of the inning and Harrison Bader will be the batter. This one skied on the infield infield fly rule in effect so Bader automatically out Lopez puts it away for good practice and there are two ways tonight J.D. Martinez with two out of two on and he lines one in the center field of base hit that'll bring home McNeil Lindor goes to third J.D. Martinez with an RBI single and the Mets plate their third run of the inning it's five to two and J.D. just continues to hit with men on base these are all unearned runs Braxton Garrett back to work bottom of the fourth inning. 1 2 sinker called strike three on McNeil. He thought it was outside, didn't agree with Mike Estabrook, but Braxton Garrett will take it, his third strikeout. He swings and misses strike three. First 1 2 3 inning of the night with a couple of strikeouts for Braxton. Nice to see Lopez do what he's been able to do, but has a seven game hit streak, was hitting 385 in those seven games so far. You know what? Let's make it an eight game hit streak, shall we? We absolutely will, and he's going to try to test it and get to second. Safe. Ball popped out of the glove of Lindor. Great hustle by Lopez and an outstanding throw by Vader. Dela Cruz has hit safely in his last 10 games against the Mets. He has always been a pain for New York. So a runner at second with one out. Here's De La Cruz. Hits a ground ball. Fair over the bag at third. Rolling down the line into the corner. De La Cruz and Lopez will swap spots on the bases. That's an RBI double. Now it's five to three. De La Cruz has been slugging quite a bit the last week or so. He's been getting some extra base hits. That ball right down the line. Two out now. That brings up Jake Berger. Eleventh pitch now to Berger, and he struck him out with a changeup. And oh no, they're ball. saying foul ball. And I don't think Alvarez thought so. He thought that was strike three. But Mike Estabrook said foul ball, and the at bat continues. And he walked him. So Berger wins the battle. Second walk of the night from Peterson. And now the tying runs are on base with Jazz Chisholm coming up. And Jazz with a base hit into left field. That'll score De La Cruz. And the Marlins inch closer. Great at bats from Berger and Jazz. And the Marlins are down a run. Yeah, what a concentration swing here by Jazz. And what a great at bat by Berger to extend the inning to give him an opportunity. So here's the hottest hitter in the Mets lineup, Starling Marte. Marte hitting 467 over the last eight games. Swing and a drive deep to left. Back goes De La Cruz, and there it goes. Home run, Marte. He blasts it into the second deck. An enormous shot by Marte to extend the Mets' lead. Seventh home run of the year for Marte, and there was no doubt about it. It was a fastball, and he crushed it. And the Mets will have a new pitcher as Danielle Nunez comes out of the bullpen for the tenth time. He has no one lost record in 13 and a third innings. He's allowed four runs. It's 2.70 ERA with 19 strikeouts. Swung on and missed strike three. A huge cut at a slider down and in. And Nunez picks up the strikeout. And he strikes out Rivera. Back to back strikeouts for Nunez. Throwing all sliders to the right hand batter. Two out. Daniel Nunez, who retired the side in order in sixth. And he struck him out. High heat from Daniel Nunez, his third strikeout. Ahead on Bell, one and two. And he struck him out with a slider in the dirt. Alvarez picks it up and makes the toss to retire the side. Two perfect innings with four strikeouts for Daniel Nunez. So Marte's on. Alonzo push up to second base. And here is Tyrone Taylor. Tyrone Taylor, his second three hit game of the season tonight. Two singles and a double. Tyrone's had one four hit game in his career. It came in 2020 for the Brewers against Detroit. As line to left center field coming on is Chisholm and he'll have to play oh. Taylor's got a four hit game. So Tyrone Taylor has his second career four hit game, and the Mets have the bases loaded. Well, now Cronin pitching in his hometown has got himself a mess to deal with. Bases loaded, one out, and Mark Vientos coming up. Vientos pokes one in the right field. That's going to fall for a base hit. Alonzo is in. Everybody else moves up a base. Vientos drives in a run, and it's 7 to 4 New York. Well, Mark Vientos now 16 RBIs in 24 games. Now Alvarez hits it hard, and oh. Lopez with a beautiful stop. Anderson gets the bag, but he can't turn the double play, and Mark 
Marte comes home to score. Tremendous play by Lopez to keep that ball from going to the outfield to take a hit away from Alvarez. And Anderson's relay throw just a shade too late to get Alvarez at first as a run comes in to make it eight to four. Last of the eighth inning, Mets with an eight to four lead. Francisco Lindor, hell about left handed now. That's oh. driven to deep center field. Chisholm going back to the wall. on the Cape with his 11th home run of the year. And it's 9-4 to New York. The Mets' third home run of the night as Lindor with his second extra base hit. His 300th RBI as a member of the Mets. Two men away. Bader now at second and Starling Marte coming up. Oh, that's lined in the center field and Marte's got himself another hit. And that's going to chase home Bader to make it 10 to 4 and make it a little bit more secure. They've got this in the bags. They threw it now probably. In the bag. And Martins will go 3 and 20 on the year against left hand pitching. How about that? So Garrett has struck out the first two. Two out. Nobody on for Otto Lopez. Ripped in the air to straightaway center. Bader back. Still going. Still going. Makes the catch. Crossing onto the warning track in straightaway center. Put it in the books. New York Mets have evened up this series with the Miami Marlins at a game apiece. The final score, the New York Mets 10 and the Miami Marlins 4.